Good evening, fellow rail fans. So, um, welcome to a video. Today we're going to be doing a tour of the Cosmos Church Transit Station. So, just a few fun facts about this station. This station is actually in the first group of stations called the Legacy Station. The Legacy Station's made up the original red and purple lines. However, wasn't a part of the pre-existing network, which includes your older stations, which is now Aiden Hills Medical Center, and a few more. They're pretty distinctive huh. based on their brick tiled floor, red roof, and brown wooden panel, and brick facades. So those are legacy stations. Those are your pre-existing stations. Cosmos Church Station huh. is one out of 121 KRTA rap, uh, tr transit stations. As of right now, we do have 88 heavy rail rapid transit local stations. We do have three automated people mover wow. stations. And the rest of the stations are regional rail stations. We also have currently 37 streetcar stops that are considered a type of rail station but aren't necessarily included on the streetcar map. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and go inside to take a tour of the station. So first we're going to start with the parking lot few things you want to check in the parking lot you always want to make sure that the street car alignment is free of debris along the way you're constantly checking for any rubbish any faults excuse me always want to constantly check for anything that may be wrong so as you can see here the parking lot is checking out so in our last tour that we took approximately a few months ago, there was a crack in this beam right here. This beam holds up the track alignment for the red train. So it would be very hazardous having a crack in these beams here because these beams are their job is to distribute the weight of the track alignment into the ground. So yeah very important there were also some security concerns here seeing that the gate people were able to consistently jump over the gate and trespass wayside so if you go through these double doors this is not wayside this leads to the platform for the streetcar but if you go down there there's a gate there and you are considered wayside So this fence was added here to double the height of the wall to make sure that our passengers would not be able to trespass and put themselves in danger of possibly getting hit by a train. This wall was also added here to make it easier for the streetcar to go around without having much interference from our passengers. Passengers would typically come through this door cross over into the parking lot and not think that there could be a streetcar coming very dangerous so this wall was erected to prevent that from happening as well so with the parking lot being cleared the only thing i would say that we probably need a work order for there does need to be a warning sign here because it is standard that there is a streetcar alignment to use caution if you look over by confirmation parking by McGregor Park, anytime you have to cross a streetcar alignment, it is always limited access and there is always a warning sign to let you know when a streetcar is approaching. This sign right here, we're going to mark it as a work order because this sign is supposed to be illuminated as well as the backing is supposed to be a dark color. This is outdated signage, as well as the direction indicators. No longer does any transit stations have multiple station codes. Now all transit stations only have one station code. This station is N6. 
N E two would be King's Cross 14th Street, N W six would be Woodward, and N two would be World Trade Center. So this is N six. The station code is incorrect. As you enter the station, you would notice that um, the signage is also incorrect once you get to the mezzanine for the south parking lot. There is no exit signs nor signage marking how to get to the bus bays, where do these doors go to, and how is anyone even supposed to know that the streetcar is here and not through there? Also, exit signs are required to be illuminate, as well as doors on stations. The KRTA service standards is no longer allowing that. All stations must be open and have fair gates. This station, no fair gates. Violation of the new service standards. Another thing that is also considered an issue Although this is one of the few air-conditioned stations on the network, it is very important that passengers are able to enter and exit the station easily, including if they are in a wheelchair. This is an ADA violation. Although this part of the station was built late in the late 70s because of the need to add the McDonald's, Yes, there was a time in KRTA history where we were obsessed with putting restaurants in stations. This is a McDonald's. It's closed right now. But this part of the station was built at a lower elevation than this particular part of the station, hence the stairs. In here is a customer service booth. A lot of these signings need to be changed to 2022. The KRTA has not voted on whether or not to remove the mask mandate, so it is still in effect. As you can see, most of the station has been newly renovated, so new floors are being used. But this is a major hazard here. There's only one way onto the platform. There is no exit in case of emergencies. Again, this station was built in the late 50s, renovated extensively in throughout the 70s, and pretty much was only remodeled in the early 2000s. And now we're trying to go back through again and update the station to meet modern day standards. One of the renovation included um, this little atrium here, which is very tight. There's always bottlenecks here during the day as a result of passengers not having enough room to flow through the station. Wayfinding here is also very inadequate. If you do not know common knowledge where your trains are, brown, red, purple, you will most likely get lost. Down here was recently renovated. What it used to be back in the 90s, there used to be a wall here, and that wall would go all the way up here, and in between these walls were some rooms. Those rooms have since been relocated downstairs. This was all cleared out to allow for additional capacity on the platform. This is the transfer point between your red and brown trains on this platform, one of the most common transfers in the network. This was designed as a cross-platform transfer as well. The murals across the platform are in good condition. The lighting in the station is in good condition. The elevator is unmarked. Any person new to Cosmos Church Station will have no idea that it is here. Wayfinding signage is not very good. There is no elevator to the Amtrak terminal, ADA violation. Right now, the Amtrak terminal can only be accessed by 
exiting the station and going down this street here across active railroad tracks. And these are freight tracks. So they're not owned by KRTA. They're just used by KRTA. This platform is technically disused and for good reason because it was never finished. This is, yeah. In every which way, this is illegal. I don't even know. They should block. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get some cones and I'm blocking this off because this is highly dangerous. There's no railing on the staircase. Yeah, this is dangerous. Hold on just a second. There we go. So now this platform, you can't access it at all because of just how dangerous it is. We will talk about, um, we will talk to construction about maybe finishing over there. That platform has never been used. This station has been chosen as a proposed hub for our regional rail services. But in no way is this going to happen if the station is if the platform is not finished. This stairway wayfinding is not much better. You don't have any idea if you're going north, south or east or west until you get to the platform. Elevators are unmarked on this level as well. And this is the old tower. So that's why it looks this way. But these are very old. The stairwell is also considered very old. This is supposed to be an elevator. Or not. And the scaffolding shaft style elevators aren't really supposed to be used frequently either. As a matter of fact, they're not supposed to be used for revenue service. They're really only supposed to be used in case of construction. Once construction is done, then you put in a, re a passenger elevator. So it's also a violation. So over here is the new portion of the station. This is the 2000, the 21st century portion. So here is slightly better. There is um, still no controlled fare area. However, you do have the new Metro card machines. You do have modernized restrooms. So this is a part of the new restroom project. You plan to put restrooms in all 90, in all um, 87 heavy rail stations. This is also another restaurant. If you go through the store, this door, you're outside. We're going to access the platforms for the numbered train or around town services. So each one of these stairs actually do lead to a platform in case of an emergency. Anyone could just exit onto these on uh, through these doors. Which this is pretty new because this leaves an emergency exit on every platform. At night, the green train from Dordyville does come all the way up here to Cosmos Church. Platforms are doing well. Elevators are marked. Wayfinding sign is decent. Modernized and electronic wayfinding signs are also used because these change during the day. Wayfinding is decent. Let's check the parking garage. We got a complaint from the about the parking garage on the lower level. Mm -hmm. 
this is the lower level. And it was regarding to lighting. We don't see any lighting issues in the parking garage. The parking the parking lot has its lights working. The bridge is still under construction. Landscaping is okay. Wheelchair ramp is good. So in that case, this is tower two. All of your one, two, three, and four trains stop at tower two. Tower two looks more modern, pretty decent. There's more well built. Now, we can't go through these doors because these doors, you see at the bottom there through those doors right here, these doors take you out into the yard. So this yard right here is called Woodward Yard, and that's where we store the majority of our National Rail trains. We store them here and in the South Ferry Yard. So in order to go through these doors, you do have to call Rail Control Center and request permission to go wayside. As you see right now, there are no trains being stored there. Because it's nighttime, all the trains are out. Yes, National Rail is 24 hours, but the majority of the trains are always out at night because a lot of trains are moved to Eastern Yard for cleaning. They're just simply stored at these yards. What we can access, though, is this is the train control room. Do not touch anything whenever you enter these rooms. That would be very dangerous. You do not want to get exposed to 20,000 volts of electricity. This is just a mere storage room. And then this is the electrical room. So pretty much every building has one. The reason why there's a clock here for those Minecraft fans, this clock actually powers a lot of things in the building. Again, never ever touch anything in these rooms because if you knock the power out in the station or you shut the tracks down or you clamp the platform screen doors or you set the fire alarm off or the sprinkler system off, you are subject to prosecution. I don't know what Minecraft world you come from. In this one, we do have jails and we're not afraid to start locking people up for messing with our equipment. So I'm just going to say, don't go in these rooms. If, I, if anyone invites you in here, never go in these rooms and push any buttons. They control everything in the station. And I am not kidding when I say they control everything. I mean... Everything in the station is controlled by these rules. So, now that we saw the TCR for Tower 2, we're going to take a look at the Tower 1 ancillary. So, over there, it's pretty much the same thing. Because the Tower 1 controls the red, purple, and brown trains. So, we're going to go through this little door here. I There we go. First we're gonna take a look at this. Be very careful. This is a storage room. 
take the ladder. So down here is a different type of room. Down here is a control room. And these are pretty much of our line running control rooms. So you may never really see this in an actual transit system. But the reason why this exists here is because it's almost like a type of a box. So what this box does is it tracks all of the trains. Kind of like what the train control room does. Except the one you're, you saw was for show. This actually does it and then sends the information real time to the House of Communications. So this is the Minecraft portion of it. So this is all the equipment for the Minecraft portion of your train control. All of these boxes stores all the switch and the gears. Again, if I let you in here, there are jails in this Minecraft world. Do not touch any of this equipment. You will short some things out. And if you short some things out, we do have jails in this Minecraft world for that specific purpose. I know it may sound like I'm threatening you a little bit and scaring you, but I'm telling you it is very serious that you just do not touch anything in these rooms at all for any reason. Someone invites you in here, be very careful. I'd rather no one go into the ancillary buildings by themselves. They need to have a certification of professionals with them, but if you boss, be very careful because KRTA does not joke about their property. We have security. There are detection systems as well, so a message is sent to House of Communications to let you know that lets people know that there's someone entering these rooms and it's just not fun it's just not funny so this is your train control room and then this is your electrical room again and they're pretty much gonna look exactly the same in each and every station the purpose of except for the side door normally you don't have a side door here but usually the purpose for checking this Excuse me. The only reason why you would ever check this room is to make sure it's clean. Make sure everything is orderly. Make sure nothing is broken. If something's broken, then yes. By, yeah, you do need to report it. If you go through this door right here, you will be taken out onto the streetcar platform. If you are a passenger, you have no reason to really come down here. Because you can't exit here without setting the fire alarm off. This switch also controls the station fire alarm. So the streetcar will stop here about every 10 minutes, pick up passengers. So that's pretty much the tour of the Cosmos Church Station. I just see a few work orders that needs to be written. We do have to have better wayfinding signage. We do have to have, we do have to do better as far as um, modernizing the station. But other than that, that's pretty much it for the station tour. So our next station that we're going to head to is Woodward Station. Now, even though these tours are typically done in the same morning, um, we are going to split them up. But first, let's check this old parking lot. This is an older parking lot, and um, it looks clean, looks good. But yeah, we're going to go on to Woodward Station next, and we're going to check that as well. Woodward Station is kind of a more 90s style station, so we'll see. It's pretty interesting checking out the old stations. The most interesting stations is the ones that have been around since the 40s. That's always your interesting stations because you'll see everything is just all over the place. Everything is scattered, detached. Those stations normally don't have restrooms. Like there used to be some rooms under here, but then they were blocked up too underneath this ramp. So things like that you will see plenty of. Okay, so let's go upstairs and wait for our... Um, we're going to take the... 
Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take the. We're gonna go ahead and take the um. Actually, we're gonna take the green train, and we're gonna take it one stop to Woodward. All right, so now we're downstairs waiting for the green train. The green train's gonna go one stop to Woodward. Again, it is a split video. So, therefore, I'm gonna shut this video off. And in part two, you will see Woodward Station. like to ride in the middle for this.